how you guys doing today? Hope you guys are doing well physically and mentally. And today, we're going to be talking about the power of your imagination. Now, your imagination is one of your faculties, your higher faculties. And your imagination is very key. You know, as kids, we had powerful imaginations. As kids, we always imagined things. We always were in our imaginations because sometimes we were on road, long road trips and we were bored. And we're like, hmm, we don't have anything. Well, let's make it fun. So we imagine things. We imagine us having fun. We imagine us doing certain things. Or even as kids, we imagine our dream lives as kids. You know, your imagination plays a very important part in your reality and in your life. Because as we tend to grow, we tend to lose that. We tend to lose our kid-like effect. We tend to lose that kid-like joy, that kid-like freedom and opportunity to see greater things. As a kid, we all had dreams, but as we get older, we sometimes allow things, people, to destroy our dreams. And we stop imagining. And we live what's so-called the real world, what people say. Oh, live in the real world, right? The real world is your imagination because anything you imagine enough will come to reality. It will. Your mind likes to put things that you see in your head or things that are in your head a lot, likes to make it come together, likes to make that actual scene happen. And you can't, allow yourself to lose that. That is something that is very much important for us in all aspects of life. We can't lose that. And we really don't understand how important it is because school never teaches us that. Because why would school want to teach us, oh, use your imagination to create the dream life you want. Use your imagination. Your imagination can help you in that sense. Why would they want to tell you that? Why would school want you to tell you how to become successful in that manner? Because a lot of successful people use their imagination a lot. And a lot, school really doesn't want you, program you to be that successful person, right? They just want you to be a school, a student. Not a person who's successful with their mind and successful all around, right? So don't forget or don't lose your imagination. Because your imagination is some of the only things that you really have that can make something that you, in a place where you feel like you don't have it and you're, and, and you don't, and you're feeling depressed, your imagination can make you happy. I use it, that's what helps me on my grind, my imagination. The things that I imagine, the angle. When you imagine the angle and you live in the angle as you imagine it and you can feel the imagination. You can feel what sensation it gives to you by just imagining because your brain really doesn't know what reality is. It does, but it doesn't because you can imagine something, right? And then it happens and you feel like you've been there before, right? Just think about it. I have another thing. Think about when you have gone, okay, say you've gone to the beach, right? And you're swimming, you're out swimming, the waves hitting you're swimming, right? It was a day ago, you went to the beach or you're going to the beach, right? You're swimming, you're doing your thing. It's in the moment, so fun. Say, okay, you go home. Now it's the next day. Now when you think back about the beach, what does that think to you? It's, it's just like an imagination, right? Now all it is, that was just a dream. Because if you think about it and try to re remember everything about it, it feels like it was a dream. It doesn't feel like it was real, but it was real, it was experience, because it was, and you know it was. But at the same time, you're like, whoa, this doesn't feel very detailed like how it was when I experienced it, right? Because past experiences in the past is like a dream. The past is like a dream. So our brain can't tell what has happened in the past that you're thinking about or imagination or your imagination. All it knows is the present. All it knows is what's going on in the present moment. That's all it knows. So if you imagine your dream life and you can live in that state and you grinding and putting the work towards it, you're gonna get it. You're gonna get it because your brain can't differentiate real reality versus your imagination at all. Try it, try it. Try going somewhere or doing something and then try to remember what you did. 
you're gonna remember it, but it's gonna feel like a dream. It's gonna feel different. Get me? It's gonna feel very different. And you're gonna realize like, man, my mind is a powerful thing. Your mind is so powerful. It's so powerful. You guys gotta wake up. And if you're new watching, you gotta wake up yourself. You gotta understand that and not let society rule your brain and be like, oh, you're thinking like a kid. You're acting like a kid. It's so wet, act like a kid. Yes. Kids have no worries. Kids have this. I will act like a kid. Why will I act like a kid? In that sense manner of how they act as no worries, happy, joyful and the little things make them happy because that is how we supposed to be that's the start of our life that's the first evolution of us as kids then we evolute and then we get bigger and bigger and bigger right and that's the first version of us and we have to still keep some of our first versions some versions of ourselves because they're good into as we grow like have an imagination dreaming big um what else the kids do? Being happy. Finding the small things in life that they of uh, enjoying the small things in life. Because that's very important. That is very important. So remember, when you're out here in the world and you're doing your thing, remember that you are powerful. Remember that your mind is powerful. And that you can do anything you truly want to do. Nothing is stopping you. Sorry for the wind, guys. It's crazy. It's kind of shaking the camera a little bit. But you are powerful. Your mind is powerful. Everything you do. And everything you think matters. Everything you imagine. So don't be imagining BS. Don't imagine things you don't want to imagine. Don't think about things you don't want to think of. I'm sorry, guys, if this keeps moving. Lord have mercy. It's, it's hot and it's and it's windy. That's kind of crazy, but uh -huh. <laughs> whatever. But we're not gonna let that stop us because I can't be perfect all the time. It can't be perfect, you know. But I can be more perfect than not perfect. But Anyways, though, you guys, I really do appreciate you guys for subscribing. All 960 of you, we are continuing to go up and we're continuing to be, you know, better people here. We're continuing to love ourselves because that's the end of the day. That's all we got. I love y'all. Stay safe. Rymosa, out.